West Side Story, a 1961 film directed by Jerome Robbins and Robert Wise, is a timeless tale of love, rivalry, and societal tensions. Set against the backdrop of New York City, the movie unfolds the intense drama between two rival gangs, the Jets and the Sharks. But here's the kicker, stay tuned, because there are plenty of surprising, amusing, and even heartbreaking facts about the making of this classic. Ever wondered if you have a cherished memory associated with this cinematic gem? Or perhaps you have a favorite classic Hollywood actor in the mix? Well, we've got some facts that might just surprise you. So, keep your eyes peeled. Now, we're curious, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this cinematic masterpiece? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And remember, there's more to discover about West Side Story, so don't click away just yet. Funny, shocking, and sad facts await. Keep watching! West Side Story, a 1961 cinematic masterpiece directed by Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins, left an enduring impact on the world of film and storytelling. Its innovative approach to adapting Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet to the gritty streets of 1950 as New York showcased the collaborative brilliance of the creative minds behind it. The seamless integration of dance, music, and narrative remains a benchmark for excellence in musical cinema. The movie's portrayal of social issues, such as racial tensions and gang violence, continues to resonate with audiences today. The timeless theme of love transcending societal barriers remains relevant in the face of contemporary challenges. Its ability to capture the human experience in the midst of cultural clashes ensures lasting significance. Furthermore, the impact of this cinematic gem extends beyond its initial release, influencing subsequent generations of filmmakers and artists. The choreography, composed by Leonard Bernstein, and the compelling performances by the cast have become benchmarks for excellence in the genre. West Side Story's influence on musical cinema has paved the way for future productions that strive for a harmonious fusion of storytelling and musical expression. The enduring popularity of the film is evidenced by frequent revivals and adaptations affirming its place in the cultural zeitgeist. Its exploration of love, prejudice, and the consequences of violence has proven to be a narrative framework that transcends temporal boundaries. The movie's continued relevance serves as a testament to its ability to connect with audiences across different eras and cultures. In conclusion, the impact and legacy of this cinematic masterpiece are deeply rooted in its ability to tackle complex social issues through a captivating combination of music, dance, and narrative. Its enduring relevance lies in its ability to connect with audiences on a human level, making it a timeless piece of cinematic art. The production of the 1961 film West Side Story was not without its share of behind-the-scenes stories and amusing anecdotes. One noteworthy incident involved the challenges of filming the iconic dance sequences. The actors, particularly the Sharks and the Jets, had to undergo rigorous dance rehearsals to master the intricate choreography. However, during one intense rehearsal, tensions ran high, leading to a comical mix-up where two actors from opposing gangs accidentally switched places, creating a humorous yet unexpected dynamic on set. Additionally, the film's director faced an amusing challenge while shooting the rooftop scenes. In an effort to capture the intensity of the scenes, he decided to film during a particularly windy day. Little did he anticipate the impact on the actors' hairstyles, which became a constant battle against the wind. Despite the initial frustration, the cast and crew embraced the situation, finding humor in the constant hair adjustments between takes. One memorable blooper occurred during the filming of the famous America song and dance number. The vibrant energy of the performers led to an impromptu dance-off between the Sharks and the Jets with the actors playfully improvising their moves. The spontaneous moment added an extra layer of authenticity to the scene and showcased the camaraderie among the cast members. Behind the camera, the crew faced their own set of challenges. The intricate set designs and elaborate costumes required meticulous attention to detail. In one instance, a seamstress mistakenly sue with two actors' costumes together, leading to a lighthearted moment as they struggled to untangle themselves before filming resumed. Despite the occasional mishaps, the production of West Side Story was marked by a collaborative spirit and a shared dedication to creating a timeless masterpiece. These behind-the-scenes stories offer a glimpse into the lighter side of the filmmaking process, where spontaneity and camaraderie played a crucial role in shaping the final product. 
1961, the film West Side Story emerged as a cinematic powerhouse, clinching the title of the highest grossing film with a staggering 43, 656, 822. Notably, it secured a unique place in Oscar history by being the first film to have two directors, Robert Wise and Jerome Robbins, jointly receive the Best Director Award a feat unmatched for 46 years. Despite its success, the film faced criticism for dubbing nearly all of its singing performances. Paradoxically, George Chakaris, the actor whose character remained silent in solo singing, became the sole beneficiary with a recording contract post the film's triumph. This practice was prevalent in the early 1960s, where actors, regardless of their vocal prowess, entered recording studios. Chakiris albums for Capitol, accompanied by framed photo inserts, rode the wave of his fame rather than vocal talent. The intricacies of West Side Story's success unfold in its dual directorial win, the record-breaking box office figures, and the ironic turn of events for its non-singing star. These facets, embedded in the film's legacy, shape its significance in cinematic history. In a pivotal scene preceding the musical number America, a dialogue alteration occurred due to censorship standards. Originally, one of the girls uttered, we came with our hearts open, provoking a retort from a shark, you came with your pants open. The line had to be modified to you came with your mouth open for the film's release. Russ Tamblin, who portrayed Riff, expressed dissatisfaction with his dancing until Fred Astaire, at the premiere, commended him on it. This unexpected praise from Astaire transformed Tamblin's perspective on his performance. Notably, the film's soundtrack achieved significant commercial success, becoming the highest-selling album of its time. This triumph solidified the movie's impact beyond the screen. In summary, West Side Story experienced modifications to comply with censorship, received unexpected praise for its dance sequences, and achieved unparalleled success with its soundtrack. Amidst the production of the film, the cast faced the wear and tear of 200 pairs of shoes, applied over 100 pounds of makeup, tore 27 pairs of pants, and engaged in 30 recording sessions. Natalie Wood, despite being initially assured that only some of her higher notes would be dubbed, eventually had all her songs dubbed by Marnie Nixon. Interestingly, Wood's authentic singing voice can be heard in another film, Inside Daisy Clover, specifically in the number you're going to hear from me. However, in West Side Story, she surrendered her vocal reins. In contrast, George Chakiris, portraying a character without prominent solo songs, remained the sole main cast member to escape dubbing. These behind-the-scenes dynamics, including the exhaustive production efforts and varied dubbing experiences, contribute to the film's nuanced creation. The culmination of these on-set intricacies, coupled with the film's historical context and creative decisions, adds layers to its impact, extending beyond the screen into the domain of production challenges and artistic choices. Russ Tamblin, portraying Riff, had his voice replaced by Tucker Smith for the Jet song where Smith played Ice, Riff's lieutenant. This dubbing choice added a layer to the film's audio dynamics. In Candid Revelations, Richard Boehmer, who starred alongside Natalie Wood, disclosed a distant off-screen relationship. Boehmer attributed this to a previous screen test gone awry. Surprisingly, a chance encounter years later at a nightclub revealed Wood's unexpectedly sweet and kind demeanor, leaving Boehmer taken aback. Beyond its individual nuances, West Side Story shared 1961's spotlight with another adaptation of Romeo and Juliet from Broadway Romanoff and Juliet. These dual releases showcased the enduring influence of Shakespeare's timeless narrative on the cinematic landscape of that year. In essence, West Side Story's intricate details, from vocal substitutions to behind-the-scenes dynamics, contribute to its unique cinematic tapestry. These revelations about the cast dynamics and its dual adaptation with Romanoff and Juliet add depth to its narrative. In the film, the America stage sequence originally designed as a duet between Anita and Rosalia underwent a transformation for the screen, evolving into a duet between Anita and Bernardo. Despite clinching an Oscar for his contribution to the film, Jerome Robbins directed only this production throughout his career. The stage version of Maria's song, I Feel Pretty, featured different lyrics, which were adjusted for the film. The scene's setting shifted from night to day, prompting changes in the rhyming words from bright and tonight to gay and today. The 2021 adaptation reinstated the original nighttime setting and lyrics, 
These modifications in the America sequence, Jerome Robbins' sole directorial work, and alterations in Maria's song lyrics contribute distinctive layers to the film's narrative. In the 27 movie Enchanted, some of the Jets actors from the 1961 film, now gray-haired old men, were happily cozying up with and dancing with the ladies during the Central Park song and dance scenes. Despite the passage of time, the camaraderie among the cast endured, creating a unique connection between the two productions. While filming on the concrete streets of New York City, the actors playing the Jets and the Sharks suffered shin splits from the intense dancing. Despite the physical challenges and constant rain, they developed a fondness for filming on location. In an effort to extend their time on set, the cast even attempted rain dances, although they were eventually barred from doing so. Rita Moreno's singing voice in A Boy Like That was dubbed by Betty Wan due to its range. However, Moreno showcased her vocal talent by singing America herself. This behind-the-scenes detail adds a layer to the film's production, highlighting the collaborative efforts and challenges faced by the cast. These anecdotes from the 27 movie Enchanted and the on-location challenges faced by the Jets and Sharks actors, along with Rita Moreno's dual vocal contributions, provide a glimpse into the enduring legacy of the 1961 film. These behind-the-scenes insights, spanning different productions and experiences, contribute to the multifaceted nature of the film's impact.